Welcome back to another episode sailing Ruby Rose from the Saigon shipyard. It is, according to my watch, 20 seconds to 10, which means that in 20 seconds, if the Vietnamese are anyway like the Swiss, you'll hear a bell and everyone will go on their break, which gives me the time to film when all these guys are not working. But there is a lot going on on the 1370. There are a lot of not finishing touches, but small touches that you know are kind of like means that the build is progressing really well. So absolutely perfect. It is 10 a.m. and these guys are all going on their break. So I'm going to get on the boat and show you what's going on. This is going to be a great episode because I've already had a sneak preview. Enjoy this one. So let's get on board hull number one. There are lots of details to show you today uh, that I picked up on. This is really starting to look like a boat and the bits that they're doing are, in some cases you would think, oh, these are like almost finishing parts. So let me just show you things that I picked up on today. Handrails, we've talked very specifically about the handrails that are gonna go on. Plumbing is now going in, plumbing is super important. And again, you've got things like this, the deck wash. And so that is all coming to part. So, so the cockpit area is really starting to come together. Locker lids that had no hinges are now sort of like starting to come together and this whole area starts to feel much much more like a boat as we said in the last episode the wheels are in but let's go down below because there are things i really want to show you now these guys obviously aren't taking a break because they're doing something that's time sensitive but something that we are going to talk about a lot is that behind me that is the nav station and while the desk isn't in place they have now calculated or rather miriong has calculated the angles for the upstands for all the navigation equipment. So you are gonna see exactly where your nav station is gonna go. And that for me, when we talked to Seawind initially, when in 2019 we were talking about this boat and about how it was gonna be built, we talked specifically about having a nav station and a nav desk that was super, super comfortable and practical because realistically, night passages, that's the most important thing, not tiring your crew out and having a really good nav station. So that's gonna be super interesting to come together. I'll see if I can talk to Miriong and see what the plan actually are and whether they've been finalized but let's take you down into the port hull and show you what's going on in there some small changes but significant starboard hull even more so so let's go down below so let us walk down into the full stairs starboard hull things i want to show you this storage area well it's now being glassed in so you can see the amount of storage that you're going to get there these cabinets are now all glassed in, but we covered those in last week's episode. So the woodwork is starting to go in. You've got the upstand for the bed now. So the bed is now, this is not in place. So it's, it's only like it's dry fitted, but not bonded. But you can now see exactly how this bed is gonna look. It is massive. Walk-in wardrobe starting to come together. We talked about that. But now what we've got is we've got inserts and there's a whole factory bay dealing specifically with inserts and the small fiberglass parts are actually going to form, say, for instance, the components of the constituent components of the aft heads. So this is where the sink is going to go. But now we've got these parts going in. You can see the size of the shower stall. You can see that now that these components are going to be in, there's more storage there. And obviously we have now that um, watertight bulkhead with engine access. So from the point from the shower stall of the aft heads, rear facing window, these are now being cut through. So you can see the amount of space that you're gonna get there. The sea wind signature slanty windows, and then two more. So actually as a heads, pretty amazing. And let's take a, a quick walk through into the starboard hull. See what's going on down there. Again, this at the moment, and similarly, again, the upstands, you can see the angles that they're working with here. So this. This is all pretty ergonomically kind of like curved around. So you, you've got full access from here while you're sitting down to all your nav instruments. The height of this lip does not impede upon your vision. And what we have been told is that over the weekend, these glass windows are going in. So you are now gonna be able to see a completed cabin top to this boat. So all super exciting. Down into the starboard hull. Let's go and see what's going on there. Again, apologies for the noise. So, down into the starboard hull. And I'm gonna go swiftly aft because uh, there's a lot of questions about the size of the, what you would term the small cabin. This is actually really damn sizable. So you can see clearly the size of the bed. It's all, actually, but that's gotta be like 
what, coming up for two meters across. But now that this cabin actually has gone in, you can see that in this case, I think obviously hole number one is having the drawers, but there's a lot of space here, a lot of light. And again, as with the aft heads, you've got two, four opening for four hatches, and then one at the back. So five hatches here, and then more storage. This now, the, the walkway, the hallway that is now templated, but there's gonna be low depth storage there. So that's gonna be interesting to see. And then moving forward, not a lot has changed here, but there's a lot, a lot going on. So really from our point of view, there's a lot to see. I just actually wanna take a walk up onto the foredeck because I've seen a lot of activity here. It's all cleaned up now. Now that the trampolines are in place and loosely laced, and there's been a lot of feedback on the videos that we put out saying, oh, this hasn't been tightened properly. This looks loose. That needs to be bolted through. These aren't the final fixtures. They're just literally put in place just to kind of get an idea of exactly how the things are going to look, whether, you know, it's a bracket, a flange, or in this case, trampoline. So the traps are in place. You can get a really good idea of actually the foredeck area now. With that long arm in place, the dedicated anchor box that they've created. And again, I can see all this like very, very clearly. There's a lot going on and it's actually like a very nice walking space i'm not going to get onto those trampolines because i promise you i'll go straight through the bottom but let's have a good look and uh, all all the things that they put here this is looking like a huge huge boat so yeah i'm going to pan around get some b-roll and uh, you'll get to see exactly how amazing this boat looks and so while we enjoy some footage of the state of hull one i wanted to ask him one of the questions that we get asked so much which is when is this boat of yours going to be ready? Well, as you've seen, Seawind have been experiencing some delays over the build of the 1370, global supply issues and a few other bits and bobs, and are currently hoping to have Hull 1 completed around the end of the year. Then they go to test sailing her to make sure there are no issues. Assuming that nothing needs to be addressed, the Seawind team will then turn all their attention to completing Ruby Rose 2, which means that we should hopefully be getting Ruby Rose 2 in Q1 of 2023. We are still working out where to take delivery, which is another question that you all want to know and where our first season of sailing is gonna be. We would love to hear your thoughts on that. So leave a comment down below and we will try to answer all these questions for you. So I hope that answers that. Let's get on with watching this boat being built. So did you enjoy that? What an amazing lift. Honestly, it's really, really starting to come together. Hope you enjoyed it. Quick, just where's Therese? Everyone's like, where's Therese? She's in Australia. She is editing. I said the editing to her, she turns it back. And honestly, for us, this works perfectly. We've got a lot of life administration to get on with before we get this boat. So for the time being, I've just come back from Australia. We spent a really lovely 10 days together. She'll be back for Christmas. And then, yeah, so that's where she is. Don't panic. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I will be back with you next week from Saigon. If you liked what you saw, give us a thumbs up. Please leave us comments. All these comments really, really help us to understand what you want to see from the filming while the boat is in build. Aside from that, take care of yourselves. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do. I will see you all next week. Take care, goodbye.